Hey there, this is Coach Troy from Tate Fitness. And today I want to talk about a compound. Um, well, some was from message requests that I've gotten on Instagram and, and a few emails, but this compound has been around for quite some time now. It dates back almost to when testosterone was compounded for the first time, but not quite that old. And that pharmaceutical drug is called Equipoise. EQ for short, but Equipoise. It's an androgenic anabolic steroid, also known to be the horse drug. Now we'll go on to some history of Equipoise. Um, Equipoise was invented and patented back in 1949 by a company called Siba. The parent compound of Equipoise is called Bolinon undeclinate. It's actually a dehydrogenated analog of testosterone. And currently it's only used for veterinary uses for horses. Now in the 1960s, they actually patented Equipoise and named it Perenable temporarily because they try to bring it in for human consumption for the uh, market for people to use. But unfortunately, it was taken right back off the market in the 1970s due to certain side effects or afraid of certain side effects of androgenicity and estrogenicity that the compound actually demonstrated with certain people. And they found it that they marked better compounds coming out at that time or better androgens and anabolics to replace Equipoise at that time. Currently the compound is owned by Pfizer. So Pfizer owns the rights to Equipoise and it's still only used for veterinary uses for horses. Now we'll go on to some of the medical uses of Equipoise. Um, they use it for disease wasting cachectic states on patients. Um, they also use it for um, post or osteoporosis for women and for pre and post operable patients uh, due to losing muscle before and after surgery. Now we'll go on to some of the pharmacology and chemical structure of Equipoise. Um, like I mentioned earlier in this video, it's a dehydrogenated analog of testosterone. So basically a, a double bond between carbon one and carbon two uh, the way it's positioned is one of the only differences between equipoise versus testosterone. And also equipoise has the addition of the carbolic acid ester and added to the 17th beta hydroxy group, which initially makes this compound very long lasting. Uh, the half-life is incredible with this compound. It's got a 14 to 28 day half-life, um, much longer than testosterone and anthate or testosterone sipinate which has a six to eight day, maybe 10 day cleaving as far as how long it's in the system. But Equipoise, like I mentioned, it can be up to some patients 30 days in the system. Obviously genetic potency and genetic translation on that specific person can either extend that half-life incredibly or shorten the half-life depending on you know body type or, or like I said, genetic aptitude on if the person is low estrogen or has low estradiol, or it has incredibly fast metabolism, you know, ectomorph base versus uh, an endomorph, for example, can make a difference in how fast or slow the basal metabolism or metabolic rate of that person of how long the half-life could be extended. And that's with, you know, pretty much any compound. Um, faster speed of your body is gonna produce a, a, a quicker conversion of molecules or molecular structure in the body of breaking down a certain compound versus somebody else. But basically speaking on paper, arbitrarily speaking, it's indicative that Equipoise stays in the system, like I said, between 14 to 28 days, that's the ratio. And another really interesting note about the molecular structure of Equipoise, it's very similar to Dianabol. Dianabol being at the 17th alpha alkylation. So they're both in the 17th position, but one's beta ester related due to the oil consumption that it's in for you know intramuscular purposes that's the equipoise and the 17c methyl alkylation methylated being meaning being able to go through first pass and being orally consumed in a, a tablet or pill form that would be the dianabol so that's the difference with there that being said you know they think or they say that dianabol in a liquid injectable form is equipoise or eq so there's a correlation between those two drugs. Very, very similar. Now, some of the side effects of Equipoise or possible side effects. Now, because of where the carbon one and carbon two 
bond is positioned uh, as far as molecular structure goes. It, on paper, it seems to have low androgenicity and low estrogenicity as far as um, efficaciously speaking, the effects on the individual taking this compound. But in certain individuals, it causes the opposite. It causes very high estrogenicity and high androgenicity. So, you know, user, please be aware. Please be aware of what this compound can do. So uh, I would be very ill-advised on anybody just starting up a cycle. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not condoning people to go use equipoise or testosterone or, or whatever it is, but be very mindful and be very careful before starting a program and have a big knowledge base and get your blood plasma levels and your, like I said, your blood panels checked before you start implementing anything like this in your regimen. But that being said, because on paper, arbitrarily speaking, a certain compound, like I said, equipoise, can show signs of low androgenicity and low estrogenicity, doesn't mean you can cycle and take, you know, five grams a week of the EQ and go, okay, I'll be fine. I'm not gonna have any kind of androgenic, you know, side effects going on. That, that's, that's not true, okay? So be very careful, be very mindful, like I said. Because contrary to belief, um, indicatively, it can cause these bad stream of side effects depending on the potency and translation of that person taking that compound, you know, like I was mentioning earlier. You gotta be very, very careful. It affects everybody differently. All these drugs and all these compounds affect everybody differently. So user, be aware. Please be aware, be very careful. Also to take notation that equipoise as a compound is always usually mixed with another compound. And everybody, I won't say everybody, but a lot of people use testosterone as a base and they use equipoise with testosterone. That's very, very common as you use these compounds together. But the thing is, testosterone can exaggerate the androgenicity and estrogenicity effects of equipoise in someone's physique or someone's body. Again, like I was kind of mentioning earlier, I don't wanna sound like a broken record, but exaggeration meaning it can extend the attributes of negative or positive in that person's body, uh, depending on that person, because of the testosterone base both being testosterone derivative, um, meaning on both ends. Now, it, it does 5-alpha reductase, the equipoise, into dihydroboldenone. So there is a 5-alpha uh, a you know, reductase-related uh, steroid metabolism going on with equipoise. But the thing is, it's not really known or fully elucidated um, what dihydroboldenone really is. Um, they say that it's a form of estradiol from readings and from findings on what people are trying to indicate. But, you know, not many people want more of an estradiol issue because of, in that factor, it does cause signs of gynecomastia of certain people. So in that attribute or that aspect, they're gonna have to take a selective estrogen receptor modulator like a Novodex to attack that tissue selective issue at the source per pertaining to that progestational or estradiol effects that the EQ and testosterone mixture can affect, or just the equipoise alone if they're doing a equipoise only cycle, which is really rare. No one really does equipoise by itself. But needless to say, they're gonna have to take a, a Novodex or a Tamoxifen, or sometimes both, you know, a, an aerobinous inhibitor, like an Astrozole with a CIRM. But everybody's, prospectively speaking, is gonna be different depending on the, um, the proclamation of what this product can do and what it can do to certain individuals and certain people. But on a conclusion and a final notation, if you guys want more information on equipoise or combinations of testosterone with equipoise or whatever the compounds may be, please get in touch with me. You can get a hold of me here on Instagram and uh, or contact me at the email below, you know. And, you know, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching my videos. I really appreciate all the support that I'm getting from everybody. Um, everybody have a fantastic day. Please leave comments in the comment section and take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you again.